Evening. It's uh, New Year's Eve Eve. New Year's Eve Eve. Yeah. Well, if you can have Christmas Eve Eve, you can have New Year's Eve Eve. That's true. And if we did it yesterday, it'd be New Year's Eve Eve Eve. If we went back far enough, it'd be Christmas Eve again. Mm. If we went back far enough, it'd be New Year's Day. Anyway, we're on our way to French France. Yes. Because we're going to Euro Disney. Well, Euro Disney. Which Tomorrow. It hasn't been called that for a long time, but. What's it been called now? Disneyland Paris. Disneyland DLP. Yeah. Going on the DLP sounds like something out of um, not Shrek. What's the one with Finding Nemo? That's it. That's the EAC. DLP EAC. No, it's the EAC. Yeah, it anyway, similar. we are just parked up at Euro Tunnel. Not technically parked up. We are actually waiting, aren't we? Yeah, because we were supposed to get the twenty past seven at night tunnel, and it's quarter to eight, mm. uh, and it took us ages to get through passport control. Not because we're super villains. Well, as far as we know, but we wouldn't tell you, would we? No, we but were. we're not super villains, so it just took a long time. So we mm. just sat here waiting now for uh, another train. That yeah. I, I don't know what it is because I haven't got my glasses on and I can't actually read what time the board says. But anyway, we are staying tonight in Calais. Calais. It's a F1, not racing, it's called F1 something. It's like an Ibis trip trap, cheap travel lodge type. Cheap or trip trap? Cheap. Cheap. All like right. cheap, 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 cheap. Okay. Uh, travel lodge thing, and we're going to drive down to Disneyland Paris in the morning. The EAC. The EAC. We won't be on the EAC. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Yes. And we'll uh, be driving. What time are we going? After Tomorrow breakfast. Morning. After yeah. breakfast. That's good news. Obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's it really. Mm, that's it. So we'll uh, catch up with you. Shortly. Shortly. To the train we go. The really? train! I began go to the toilet. Woohoo! Woo okay, so uh, we're in France. And we are at Hotel F1, uh, just near the uh, uh, Channel Tunnel, and we're in room 228. Um, room 228 uh, has its own toilet. There are other rooms here uh, that don't have uh, toilets and showers, etc. But 228, 229 does. So, as always, we just thought we give you a quick room tour of this room. So, room 228, as we walk in, literally, there's Mrs. T. So this is the room. So basically you have a double bed and then you've got uh, some USB sockets, which actually is a really positive thing. Obviously power sockets, uh, light switch. Um, you've got a window there with a the blind. Hold on. Which you can go and just see through to all the other areas of the window does actually open as well, which is great um, if you think it's a bit stuffy. Uh, and then just in the corner, we do have a television with another power socket and a light. So there's the television. Um, we've got a very uh, bright wall just over here. And then, does that work? Yeah, so there's a little light on the underneath the television unit. And then in this room, as I said before, this room has a uh, a bathroom, you actually have a toilet and a shower. Mirror, hello. Towels. And actually, even though the room is very, very uh, compact, um, bijou. Bijou, it's clean, it does not smell. Uh, and for a night, um, it hasn't got a shower curtain, it's got a glass screen. Yeah, it's got a glass which screen, is, is which amazing. Mrs. T absolutely loves. Love How much was this night? This was so for two rooms because we've got we've yeah. got two rooms. I think it came to 99 euros. So it's about 45 plus tax. 99 euros 80. Yeah, and at the moment outside it's saying 45 on the sign. So for 45 euros, do I think this is a bargain? No, because it's still roughly 40 quid. Um, but is it acceptable? Absolutely. Um, it's clean, 
and uh, doesn't smell um, for a night before we uh, head back down over to uh, DLP, uh, it's absolutely fine. So if you're coming over to, uh, if you're having a stop in Calais, Hotel F1, just outside of the uh, Channel Tunnel, uh, Hotel F1, this is room 228. And uh, like I say, it's, uh, it's okay. There you go, first room tour done. Morning, everybody. Morning, I have to check in the time. Is it morning still? No, no it's afternoon. <laughs> afternoon hasn't been afternoon for a while. <laughs> okay, it's afternoon. Anyway, we're in French France. Bonjour. Bonjour, La France. Mm. Uh, we just got to the second hotel. Hotel F1. Uh, mm. It's exactly the same as the first one. Literally, exactly the same. Literally, exactly the same. Just different location. So we are in Collision. Don't know. Uh, we're about 15 minutes away from La Disneyland Paris. Which is where we're going to now. So, uh, yeah, we'll um, leave you switched on, focus you outside, and you can have a little look at the French countryside. Or the bus stop with the trolley. <laughs> yeah, it's remarkably like English countryside. <laughs> remarkably. Anyway, see you in a bit. <laughs> So we've got here, uh, we're now on the car park, walking from the car park over to the Disney Village. Um, but parks up, it's actually about 16 degrees, so December 31st, 2022, 16 degrees. And uh, usually I wouldn't have bought this coat with me, um, but obviously it's going, it might get a bit chillier at night when we're out. Um, <coughs> but we're going to walk into the village now and see a big smile, hopefully. when we were last here? I think so, yeah, pre, just pre-pandemic wasn't it? Yeah, just before pandemic. In January. Yes. <laughs> That's it, because Evie bought us a present, hadn't she? Yeah. tickets we don't have um, normal day normal. tickets so we've just booked for the party tonight so we can't get in until half past five but it's like the Florida parties you're allowed in a little bit earlier so the party doesn't start till I think it's 8 8 30 oh, okay. um, but we can get in at half past five so until then we just have a little mooch around the village probably get something to eat sounds good uh, obviously there's always time for shopping so we'll be back. So, just there, King Ludwig's Castle. 
soon to be transformed into an English pub. Oh, right. Bye. That's what they've decided. So they're redoing this whole area. So Disney Village, which has been open for, God, a long, 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 years. long, long time, and very little has changed in terms of design and look and everything like that. They're going to redo it. So King Lovers Castle, they've decided it's going to be a British pub. So look for spoons coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome if spoons came here. Yeah, so we're still Christmas here. Yeah. So not all the Christmas decks up. shops are new aren't they? Since last time we came. Oh you've got a proper bed. There's the uh, Earl of Sandwich a reasonably priced meal that isn't McDonald's and if you like the one in Florida it's very similar although they don't have the holiday sandwich and there is no froze so you know just putting that out there but you know it's reasonably priced in there we've got the big balloon I don't think it'll be flying today because of the wind. Quite a windy one. And then a hotel over at the back there. It's Newport Bay. We've got Sequoia Lodge directly across. And Marvel Hotel. Over there. Hotel New York. Not that anymore. It says on there, Hotel New York. It's called Marvel Hotel now. Oh. There we are. Fancy putting a rain in off. Have we stayed in there? We have stayed in there. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Anyone we haven't stayed in is the Disney Line one and Santa Fe. I thought we'd stayed in Santa Fe. I thought we had stayed in Santa Fe.
Yeah. So this is the first time we've been in this hotel since they've upgraded it to marble. Yep. Let's see if it's marvellous. down this way <clears throat> so we're keen to get in the uh what is it oh i think called oh uh, just a new year's eve party as i expected we called mickey's not so scary new year's eve party or something but it's not anyway we're keen to get in the new year's eve party and then um, hopefully it won't take too long show the queue hold on show the queue you ready Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Uh, okay, this is a bad place to video. It is. Well, we are in, and we're in for Disney's uh, New Year's Eve party. In just a few minutes. Oh, God. can never leave it alone. Ooh, Bandora, just a few minutes. <laughs> anyway. That took about half an hour to get through. What horrendous. <coughs> we have the band. Not the wristbands now. The wristbands. So we're in and we're going to go and uh, enjoy ourselves. I'm hoping the tree that you can perhaps see, but probably not, they're going to switch on in well, just a few minutes. Well, at some point, just not yet. Uh. They do like just to switch stuff on there, don't they? I like, know. No real what's to about it. So, in just a few minutes, was literally a minute, and now, as you can see, it's all lit up. And it looks very nice as well. So we're gonna go exploring now, and see if we can find another tree somewhere, but it is a very, very nice tree. Not everybody loves backstage, Miss. Look at all this. Je n'en faisais 
rotary now. camera's going to be very steady on this one, it's just jumped up everywhere. Steady cams. Oh, downhill, downhill. Woo! Woo! Beep, beep. gets going officially to get something to eat and uh, Jay and I have both had kids meals because we are children uh, so I'll turn you around and oh we've had an extra as well I'll show you what we've got James what have we got um chicken burger yeah cheeseburger yeah fries yeah orange juice water yeah and Yoda ice cream baby Yoda ice creams and Plus this is the extra that we had. A little chocolate igloo. I'll show you that better when I open the box in a minute. But yeah, a little chocolate igloo. Uh, that came to uh, 26 euros. Yeah. Yeah, 26 euros. And they were 4 euros each, weren't they? So it'd be yeah, around they... about 18 euros for the two kids' meals. Yeah. So we sat in Cafe Hyperion watching the cartoons. What do you think, Mr. T? Mm. I don't know why I'm asking you now, because it's all bloody gone. Mm. Mm. It's actually alright, isn't it? I preferred the ice cream. Uh, um, it's got a different flavour to it, so... I can't taste much dark chocolate. Why, is there some in there? It's supposed to be dark chocolate. Mm. It's chocolate to me. And all gone. Hmm. Mine, not all gone.
extraordinaire qu'est sa vie. Et c'est avec son prince qu'elle dit... Curieuse et intrépide, elle... Ah, tout le monde est là Et en attendant plus une seconde, j'ai le plaisir de déclarer le grand bal royal ouvert Fantonius Manorus. Fantonius Manorus? Yeah. Or oh, Phantom Manor. Mm. Or oh, if you come from Stoke, Phantom Manor. <laughs> it's a great for Phantom Manor, really. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching you come from Stoke, you'll get that. If you're not, then. If you're not, yeah, then. It's actually a really good joke, but really? it's not that good if you don't know.